Here is an example of the, our finished project for this lesson. We have a simple supply list, uh, chalk pastels, a black piece of paper. If you have uh, not done the glue lines, you need a jar of or bottle of plain white glue and some Kleenexes for wiping your hands off. That's it. Um, I'm using a 12 by 18 inch piece of black paper. So let's get started. This week's lesson <clears throat> is a simple one, but I think really fun. Um, the first step is, and I, I know it's going to be difficult for a little while to, for you to see what uh, is happening on this black uh, paper, but we're using a technique where we are actually using uh, glue in a bottle like this uh, instead of a pencil to draw our lines. So you do need to prep this ahead of time uh, because the glue needs to be completely dry before you start this project. project. Um, and, um, and for some of you, I've done that for you. So you have, all you have to do is um, add the color, okay? But when the white glue dries, it uh, is uh, clear. And so the black paper or whatever paper, color paper you're doing this on, I like black because it really makes all of the colors show up very nicely, uh, will then come through the clear glue. So if you are doing the glue part yourself, you just need to make sure that you are steadily squeezing and moving as you're doing your lines. And it can be very loose, okay? So we're going to be using soft pastels uh, to apply the color. And for many of you, this is a new uh, medium. So I wanted to explain just a little bit about that. The soft pastels will not stick to the glue lines, okay? Um, so what you can do with soft pastels, they're messy, okay? Uh, but I, I don't mind it because it, it easily uh, comes off. Uh, but what you do is, we'll start with one of these petals, is that you do a base coat and you don't have to, you can be a little loose with this, some of the black can show up. So it can look like that. And then you can set that down and you can take your, I, I prefer to take my finger but if you want, you can wrap your finger with a, a Kleenex. And then you're going to be pushing that chalk around. Okay. So we're going to, and then you can wipe off your finger if you want. Okay. So what... I'm going to do, I'm going to move this out of the way so I have more room. I'm going to do the base coat on all of my petals. Again, it's fine to just have some of that black showing. And then you're going to push it around. Now eventually we're going to blend different colors but we're just going to do our base coat first. You can do your flower any color you want. You have lots of pretty colors in your chalk pastel set. And I've collected hundreds of chalk pastels over the years. Dig in with your finger or Kleenex covered finger. You can move your paper around.
feels like it's getting too dirty, you can wipe it off on your Kleenex. Occasionally you'll want to get rid of the dust. And you'll see as you're working it along how the glue resists the chalk. Because the glue is smooth, unlike the paper that has what we call teeth, that will capture the particles of the chalk. Now I made my flowers cropped just for a little more visual interest. We're only seeing a part of it. So now I want to think about what I want to layer on there um, and I'm sifting through I, I think I want a little bit of black maybe around the edges but that's a that's a maybe some pink Whew, some of these have been really used. Maybe that rust color. Okay, don't think I'll use the black since we've got the black lines. Okay, so what you can do then is you can put a second layer over and blend those colors together. Play around with this. It's just fun to see what happens. If you want to see what it might look like um, before you put it on your actual project, you can have a little piece of copy paper or something and, and play around with it. up here near the, the center of it you can do that see one of the things I like about it is that everything is very subtle and if you don't like it well you can just Just go over it. See, I don't want that quite so dark, so I just put it over there. Okay, so. I'm going to stop the tape and you can uh, work on all of your petals and we'll come back when we're ready to work on the center. Okay, I had another little video malfunction there, so I just want to go over the steps. I start with that I did the, um, the, uh, the center of the flower in. So I went over with uh, a yellow and then a 
couple of different shades of brown, smooth that all out. And then to give a texture, I took the end of my yellow and just made dots like this, and we will not be smoothing those out, okay? So now we're ready to go on to the stem and the leaves. So I wanna pull out some options with green. Work on the stem. It's a pretty color green, I like that. Now, if you're getting a lot of chalk dust on you, just don't wipe it off. You can blow it off. You're going to end up with a messy table. don't want to wipe it because it'll leave behind color. Now I'm going to go back over with a lighter green and blend that. You could also use a yellow. Too much black on that, so I'm going to lighten that up a little bit. There we go. Okay, so you can investigate your. Doesn't that black just make it go? The the colors just pop. That green looks stunning, in my opinion. Uh, let's see, I got a little too much black from the paper showing here. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so now we're ready for our background. And I am going to get rid of some of the chalk dust on the background. And I'm going to do various shades of, of blue, so I'm going to get rid of what I've used so far. And do it 
on the side of the chalk. You can cover a lot of area very quickly with this. and then you'll be pushing it with your finger. So what I like to do is do about a fourth of the background and then smoosh it out. See how you can use your finger to push that up in that teeny area. black showing in some areas just go over it again we're going to go over it with a different color as well turn your paper around okay so I'm all right so I have the first coat of blue on my background and now I'm going to put a second coat on not solid again We push that around. If your finger is getting sore from rubbing it so much, you certainly can move on to using the uh, Kleenex. get some finger marks on it as you are holding the edge of the paper. Don't worry about that. You can just go back and blend those out.
Okay, we're on our last section. I just love the, the softness of the colors, the contrast with the black. This is one of my favorite techniques. Simple, yet comes out stunning. All right, so I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about chalk pastels. So they're sometimes called soft pastels. Um, and uh, feel free to continue practicing with this. Have fun with it. Thank you.